Are you looking to spruce up your home decor without spending big bucks? How about thrifting? Or are you worried you'll have trouble tying thrift finds into your existing decor? Well, worry not. Julie is here. Hey, Jules. So it looks like we are going thrifting <laughs> right there in your living room, and you're going to give us what I like to call the Jules rules to thrifting. Am I right? I love it. Jewels rules to thrifting for home decor. I love it. It's great. <laughs> Honestly, Tracy, you know me. I am a huge thrifter, secondhand shopper. I would buy everything secondhand. My clothes, my sporting equipment. But honestly, my favorite thing to buy secondhand and thrifted is home decor, for sure. Now, I would call my home decor style a little shabby chic. It's what I like to call it. My husband likes to think I have a little too much shab and could use a bit more chic, <laughs> but that's his opinion. <laughs> but honestly, what I love so much about it, Tracy, is when you master this look, you will have a home that is full of personality, that is edgy, that is unique and sustainable at the same time. So the first major overarching Jules rule to, shop, to bringing in that vintage into your home decor is that you must have a modern element to it. That is how it's going to work. If you don't have the modern, you will end up with too much vintage, could be a museum with artifacts. Mm. Yeah, not what we're going for. So you want to bring in that modern side. Now, Trace, there's a really easy way to bring in the modern. Three simple ways. First of all, hello, buy some modern furniture easy. Other one is follow some of the modern trends and making sure that you're putting your vintage pieces within those trends. And the third one, super important, minimalist. You want to make sure that you're not overcrowding your vintage. These are powerful pieces. Give them space to breathe. <laughs> So my first thing I want to talk about, the first rule, is find vintage elements and pieces that actually have a purpose. We don't need little chachkas all around that collect dust. That's not the purpose we're looking for. One of my favorites would be vintage vases. Love them. You can find glass vases, ceramic, whatever you want. You can even also find ones that have little chips on them. That will play into the shabby part. But make sure you bring in the chic, which is that, you know, that modern part. So these vases, I love, Trace. They sort of have that 70s vibe. Mm -hmm. And then I put them on my mantle here, which is so Victorian. So you've got that mid-century with the vases, but, the you know, very, very old in the fireplace. And then, hello, the super modern flat arrangements, right? That dried flowers, the feathers. Tell me this doesn't look like an Instagram post. Like, come on. Did you paint out that beautiful Victorian piece? It was done when we when we got here. Isn't oh, it gorgeous? It's so good. It's beautiful. Trace, the next one I'm going to tell you about, which is one of my favorite things, and you're going to love this, is vintage books. They will work so well for styling. And you know why, Tracy, I love this? It's the first time ever that you can judge a book by its cover. <laughs> <laughs> here I've got them. They're nicely stacked. I've just, you know, it has a great little shape to it. Another thing I thrift all the time, Tracy, are trays. Talk about a purpose. I keep my converters in this tray so we're not running around looking for it all the time. And then that modern element, like you must have, is this glass bowl. So this is a modern bowl, thick glass, and then I filled it with the apples, just to give the color and really pull together that little vignette on the coffee table. So important. Looks gorgeous. Now, trace, natural elements. This is important. Apples work very well. Fruit, vegetables, you know me. <laughs> but what's also it's amazing is to have the greenery. You want to have greenery with your vintage pieces. So important. Now, this basket, of course, is a thrift find. You can find them anywhere you want, and they're super great. This one's even broken, and I don't even mind it. Paired it with <laughs> the fig tree. Don't tell me that's not the most modern tree ever. <laughs> and it just, again, balances out the vintage pieces for sure. Okay, lovely. The tips are amazing. Um, I think they're great. I, I know that you also sort of like to play around with uh, vintage artwork. Is that true? Tracy, I am not the biggest art connoisseur out there, but I know when you buy new art, you must be like moved by it and it comes home to your house because it speaks to you. My advice when you're buying vintage art, go with colors. <laughs> Making sure that the colors just blend in with your wall and your home decor. That is what's really important. So I love this piece here. It matches my walls. It just sits perfectly. And it's the City of Hall of Toronto. Like, it's so cool. Oh. I literally knocked over a bunch of women at a church sale to get it. Okay? <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick.
Quick, quickly, I'm going to talk about thrift <laughs> furniture. Like, if you can find vintage furniture, it is so important and so fun. But you can see the table here. I've paired it with metal chairs. So they're modern chairs, and then I've even mixed matched the chairs. You can see the two end chairs don't match the table. So it's just something of, you know, getting it feeling very comfortable and warm. And, a lot, and another tip, Trace, is you cannot be super precious with your vintage antiques. Use them. They're meant to be used and loved. And I use china all the time. We don't wait for Christmas to use our china. I thrift china 24-7. I love it. Mix and match it. And we literally eat hot dogs on china. I'm telling you, they may be vegan dogs, but we still eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great. And I think that if we've learned anything during COVID, it's that, you know, life is happening now. Take out the good stuff and use it now. I think it's a really good point to remind people of. And you know what? Celebrate just because. And hey, you got a beautiful bar cart right there. Let's start the party. <laughs> Right? Okay, Tracy, honestly, my favorite thing to thrift is sort of that vintage, you know, alcohol. Mar Nobody made martinis like they did back in the <laughs> 1960s, okay? It's very madman. Freaking yeah. love it. And it's so fun to find. So these are the crystal um, alcohol dispensers. I don't even really even keep alcohol in these. I just love the <laughs> look on it. But again, it just is a great conversation piece. You've got the vintage, the vintage martini shaker, and then paired it with a modern bar cart. And it's just, again, it's just a great way of bringing some elements to the room that you can just chitter chatter and actually just add so much character, doesn't it? It absolutely does. It brings the elements and the elegance. It is gorgeous. Even if you're putting juice in the shaker, I mean, you still want one of those standing <laughs> by. It just looks so good with the whole look. Jules, thank you so much. Okay, so now you've all got your Jules rules to thrifting for decor, so go out and find your next treasure.